They do follow me, and I've definitely run into them a couple of times, but like, it's been so long there since I probably talked to them, I couldn't really say it on their, their skill or their habits. But, I feel like a lot of this match right now is exactly how Unknown is playing this, is coming at that diagonal, because that's something like, um, he has very great, great buttons above him, very great buttons right in front of him, uh, and the down diagonal with his nair, but if you come up like an up diagonal, he, uh, it's, it's kind of hard for like, Roy to really deal with it. And that, that's what we're kind of seeing, is that that fair is just kind of getting unknown right on top, uh, like right on top of um, King Snitch. Wow, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. But yeah, a big thing there is that King Stitch wanted to try to, uh, saw that he was pre pressuring around the shield, so he tried to do that aggressive up to land on, uh, like, land on that platform, but even landing on the platform, it still has a decent amount of, like, end lag, and without Chrom's, like, landing hitbox, it can be really bad. Yeah, man, alright, so yeah, I, I, I had to fix audio once again, because no one could hear me. I just wasn't oh, talking. Okay. And I, you couldn't hear me because I literally wasn't talking. I was sweating. But I'm pretty sure everyone yeah, no, should no, be able no, to hear no, me no. now. I, I assumed as much. I, <laughs> okay, I just, cool. just kind of went on plan B. I'm like, all right, it looks like a little bit of silk calm for a second. But Yeah, all right. But anyways, so all right, what's going on? It looks like Unknown is actually uh, on coin. I've got this spot wrong anyways. But it looks like Unknown is actually popping off right now. Um, and this is, this is nice, man, because we didn't really get to see a whole lot of Sheik online um, for good reason. Even offline, kind of not a great character. But, like, honestly, like, when you see the character represented, even at, like, top level, like, seeing Void, it's a lot of work, but, like, there's definitely potential in the character. I mean, even even this, I mean, I know it's a winner's round two we're talking about, yeah. but, I mean, Unknown looks pretty sharp here, man. I mean, he's currently, you know, on the cusp of a 3-0, uh, you know, three-stock here, but... Yeah. Really so it does finally here. get that good anti-air. I, I almost feel like she's kind of, like... Uh, especially for certain, certain sorties, almost just like the the Diddy thing, where like your, your air to air up buttons and like air to ground buttons are just so strong that you can kind of actually land into a sword. And like since since Roy p doesn't play like a traditional sortie, he doesn't actually have all that range of a sortie. So like it, it it's even more apparent in this matchup because not only does Sheik have slightly faster buttons than you, but actually can make more more use of those buttons since you have a much uh, more effective range on, on each on each swing. Yeah, and this is where it gets kind of weird for Sheik, just because, you know, not only is Roy at max rage and, and you're a light character, but, like, a lot of straight hits from Sheik aren't going to kill, right? So a lot of characters yeah. at this high percent, you're just, okay, all I need to do is catch back air, this, that, the other thing, even F smash. Like, Sheik F smash, I don't even know if that would kill right now. I, I'm not really well versed on the percents, but the thing is, is... What I'm trying to say is Unknown is going to have to find some sort of confirm or really go off stage and, and, and get King Stitch while he's deep in the blast zone. Yeah, I, I think that right now what, uh, what Unknown's trying to do is play around shield because he, kn he knows that like Shiki like, gets kind of antsy when he's in shield and either presses a button or like will wait to get hit for his shield to get hit. So a lot of what um, Unknown is trying to do is trying to stare out the, the shield grab and then we're doing a lot of smash decks on shield because he, he wants uh, Shiki to press that button. But finally just scare out um, that counter. Getting that back air. Um, a, a big, a, another big thing he can start looking for. He's towards the end. He got too high percent, but he can put you in a throw mix up with a uh, with back uh, back throw and forward throw at like uh, probably around 140 ish. Um, whereas if you miss you either throw, uh, you can get uh, as for, like more importantly forward throw up air. But I think you can also chase with back throw up air on on uh, DIN. Yeah, that's the other thing. It, it's it's mostly just like uh, chic. Like you kind of just have to be a smart player. <laughs> You have to really be able to react to your opponents, let alone kind of read what they're going to do. And then on top of that, you know, then, then it's actually landing what, what what you're trying to set up. So in either case, it doesn't really look like Unknown is uh, really struggling here. So we'll, we'll see if he's able to keep going with um, what could be potentially 2-0 here. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a rough round one for King Stitch. And I, I do like how King Stitch recognizes that. That uh, that IGJ forward air, what um, air wasn't actually a true combo. It's a it's a, a pseudo frame trap because if you if you do air dodge any direction, you can chase it with an air. But if you have a fast enough button like right up here, you can always beat it out. So good awareness on there. But I, I just feel like King Stitch keeps just you know uh, like trying to fight his way out of just uh, out of these juggle scenarios. And unknown such a solid like you know defensive player that he just won't. Oh, he almost got rain dropped. But such a solid defensive player that he won't really let, like, he'll very ar rarely, if at all, let you get away with that. Yeah, Unknown is like, uh, this is the cool part about offline again, is, is 
we could kind of talk about these things. Unknown's a very veteran player, right? Has been around since early Smash. Oh my lord. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing I was looking out for, because, like, with all this rage, it's actually it was starting to slide into Roy's favor, because, as you were saying earlier, like, trying to, you know, get those get those stocks, but uh, go on with what you're saying. I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, all I was going to say is, like, you know, you could rely on Unknown to essentially, you know, be effectively read an opponent and execute accordingly, but... Uh, with the King Stitch was kind of tired of hearing what I was saying and kind of ending things quickly, but still pretty manageable here for King Stitch. Had a little bit of a lead going on, but now just looking to land any kind of hit and does get it. Yeah. Try to yeah. Uh, that, that's a, that's another thing is like King Stitch is like a lot of players uh, they'll, they'll get their combo, but then rather than like either re, uh, like reset and get positional advantage or do it much safer, a lot they t they keep going for the big read. And like, while that can work sometimes, for, you know, at veteran players like Unknown, they're going to know when they're in a read scenario and what what their safest option is. It might not be the best option, but it will, um, especially, uh, like, especially if they have enough data on their opponent, they, they know they can get away with it cause as uh, they won't, uh, they'll bypass the big punish and they won't really have to worry about the, the, the small guaranteed punish. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. And that's like, and that's on a good player to set those sort of opportunities up, at least. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's advantage, just advantage is going to be different this game player-wise, but when you are a veteran player like Unknown, you kind of get a sense for what your opponent's going to do, even at different levels of play, right? So whether it be yeah. winner's round two or playing against, you know, top-ranked player just because he has that sort of bracket experience. But here we go. There's a, one of those stray hits yep. and setting up for the grenade on the ledge, kind of what we were just talking about. Yeah, right not being able to, like, consistently, like, play around the, play around the ledge or even, like, snap it all, all too often really really hurts him as a character and that's like one of the major reasons why i do think Krom is a little bit better is because um he has a, has a lot more mix-up potential on his up b at the trade of never being able to sweet spot right. but there we go does get that um that scramble forward tilt catching the uh attempt at uh, the reverse Ooh. i like the idea because that, that that back jump wasn't bad it's just he drifted too far away so he didn't have enough momentum um going back to ledge but that back jump does save him from side b and since it has uh, such high lag um, from holding that side B, he can actually neutral get up, and then it's just a it's a shield versus shield scenario where someone has to press. Uh, like you can kind of wait for someone to press a button. Yeah, yeah. And, and then sometimes, sometimes that's, that's the, the thing, thing, right? You, you don't always have to be pressing, pressing buttons. buttons. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes, sometimes hitting less buttons, buttons is better, and not hitting a button, button at all. You know, uh, that's what I'm trying to preach is that like at like when you're down or in a last hit scenario, plus pressing less buttons is when it becomes even more important. Because like. Yeah. Everybody tunnel vision is like, oh, I have to get this leader. I have to close out this stock, and you're just opening yourself out. Where like, if you can get your opponent to think that, you're at a way higher chance of winning, because you have all this like free conditioning and mental game to play around with. And you know, sometimes playing on your back foot it isn't always the worst thing, because it with punishing is all about you know, uh, you know just stepping that half, making that half, uh, the half step back, so they land right in front of you.